Why have you called a state of emergency? Well, people will remember what happened in July last year. We had a major storm event, uh, and we didn't call a state of emergency um, early enough, in my view, for people to have the time to go out and um, prepare for what might happen. Uh, we always um, prepare for the worst and, and hope for the best. Uh, but this looks like it's a very serious storm event and it will cause flooding. Um, it's already uh, flooding streets, so it's important that people get the message uh, that if they live in those flood-prone areas around the Heathcote River, they really do need to evacuate. Which areas do you think will be most affected? Well, I think the Heathcote River area will be most affected. So if you've flooded before, then uh, this storm is likely to impact on you. So uh, I really would be seriously thinking about um, evacuating if, that, uh, if, if that's the area that you live in. Uh, we're really worried about Banks Peninsula. It looks like it's going to bear the brunt of the storm, so it's in for a bit of a hammering. And that means risk of landslides, it means risks of um, obviously localised flooding, but uh, you know, uh, trees coming down, you ju we just don't know exactly what will happen. These, these storm events are very unpredictable. How bad is the flooding going to be? Well, again, we, we don't really know exactly how bad it's going to be, but uh, I wouldn't have called a state of emergency if I didn't have uh, sufficient concern about what could happen. And as I say, I'd rather that we as a city were ready for the worst, um, but again, we will hope for the best. Should I make arrangements to leave my home? I think that if your house is flooded before and you're in that Heathcote uh, River area, so there's, there's a, several areas along the Heathcote River that are very low lying that are flood prone, I would certainly uh, consider contacting friends or family to see if you can stay the night. That would be my preference if I lived there. Uh, but we are opening a welfare centre at Pioneer Stadium, uh, which people can go to as well. And where can I get further information? You can go to our website, uh, the council website, which is uh, ccc.govt.nz, uh, and uh, and then there's a kind of a slash with newsline, and uh, that will have all of the up-to-date information on it. Uh, we'll be putting this and other information uh, on social media as well. So stay safe, everyone.